Hello everyone, my name is Majid and in this video I'm going to show you how to install VMware on a Mac and use Microsoft Access on a software computer to make tables, queries and reports and this video will take two parts uh, one part will be about the uh, VMware and the other about the Access so you're gonna go into your browser and type in desktop dot suffolk dot edu there's two versions you can use the HTML access and the horizon client um, I would recommend using the horizon client because it's much faster than the uh, HTML so you click on that you're gonna scroll down to Mac go to downloads and download I already have mine uh, downloaded, so click on the image. Drag and drop. And it should show up. Yep. Gonna click on desktop. So when, the, when it comes to here, I already have mine, uh, my server installed, and it's desktop at uh, Uh Why not show you the same uh, as me? So when you see server, you're gonna type in this uh, line here, and you're gonna log in using your credentials, your username, and your school's password. Click on VDI. And it's going to load. You're in. Um, so the, the connection uh, depends on the internet speed you have. So if your uh, internet speed is not really quick, it's going to be laggy. So I recommend that you have a fast internet connection to use uh, VMware to be um, you know more efficient and we're in so you're gonna click on start and programs Microsoft Office and access and start with a blank For the second part, uh, we're going to create a table. For example, we're going to make uh, an employee database and populate that table randomly. So you go into the uh, Create tab, click on Table, and you already have the ID field for you. And we're going to populate this field here uh, by going into uh, Design View. Let's name this employee the reason we're switching to a uh, design view is that it's much easier and faster to uh, populate the fields than data sheet view so we're gonna start with first name last name and notice here in this field size you can specify this the, this field size um, to any number you want. Uh, for last name, we're gonna put 10. And first name is the same, 10. And then we're gonna populate the address fields. Uh, you can do them here uh, by yourself, uh, but there is a faster way. You're gonna switch to uh, data sheet view. I'm gonna save this. You go into the Fields tab, more fields, and click on address. And you can see it does that for you. Um, so we're gonna switch these here. We're gonna bring them to the left.
and I'm gonna populate this table randomly. For example, we'll start with Jack Smith, just for example. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna do this for 10, uh, 10 records. And we're gonna continue from that to make uh, a query. Yeah, so now we have our table. We are going to make uh, a query to give us the information of employees uh, in California. So there's two ways into this. You can do uh, an SQL uh, query, and you can do also through the wizard. But you can also do it through uh, the uh, query design. But for now, we're interested in the uh, query design. So we're going to click on that, close this, and go into a SQL view. So the select command is already written for you. And then we're going to type in um, the uh, fields uh, we're going to need for the query. So we're going to select employee ID, the ID, employee dot first name, then employee dot first name. Employee address then employee dot city and then employee dot state province. Then for the next line you can type in from employee referring to the table and you set the condition by where. Um, then triple parentheses employee dot state province um equals to CA quotation marks and close the parentheses and semicolon and then run it. And there you go, there's the uh, two people who uh, work in California. And make sure you resize this to the uh, right size by double clicking. Um, now we have that done, we can do um, a query design just like the following. Click on employee, and it brings up the table. And we're going to click. ID, first name, last name, um, address, city, state, and in that order. And then we're gonna, we're gonna set the condition to California, just like that, and then run it. And it shows you the same uh, result as SQL. And those are the uh, two main ways to um, do a query. Okay, so now that we have our table and query, we can create the report. So by going to the uh, Create tab in the Reports group, go to the uh, Report Wizard. So we want the ID, first name, last name, uh, address, city, um, zip code, uh, sorry, state, zip code, and country region. Click on next, and we want to group uh, by ID. So we click on ID, and the arrow here, click next. And we want to be sort. We want it to be sorted uh, by the last name in ascending order. Click on outline and landscape. Click next. I'll name this employee report. And 
there we go. However, there's uh, we have to do some changes to it in the layout. So go to layout view. You notice here that uh, some of the fields are not sized correctly. So some of them you want to move them. So by double clicking or dragging, you can resize and move. And we want to resize the address, move it. Resize it. And first name, let's move the address a little bit to the right. And last name also. So we're going to move the city a little bit to the right. Resize this. Move the address to the right. Drag this to the right a little bit. And this seems good. All the uh, names are appearing fully. And there you go, this is your report. And click save, and you're all done.